understood the assignment. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I understood the assignment. <laughs> I didn't understand the assignment. No, I really didn't. Uh Hi guys, it's Ali. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I've got the brand new Age of Opulence palette by Beauty Bay and I'll be swatching it, reviewing it, doing a little look using it and just giving my general opinion of the palette. So if you want to see all that and the tea, then go ahead and keep on watching. If you've seen any of my other Beauty Bay videos before, then you know I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of their 20 pan palettes. So when they did announce this palette, I jumped straight onto it and I did go ahead and buy it. There were a couple of other things released as well. So a smaller nine pan palette and some lip products. And I think some loose pigments or shimmers or something like that. But I only went ahead and picked up the palette. Let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So this is what it looks like. And I did just mention a while ago that these palettes retail for £15. So they went with a 20s themed palette, but it is marketed as a Christmas collection. I don't know if I would classify this as a Christmas collection product just because it doesn't scream Christmas at me personally. I'm not sure about you guys. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section after this video. Let me know what you think about this being part of a Christmas launch. So once you open the box, this is what the actual palette itself looks like. And I think it's got New York on there. I'm not too sure, but I think it's New York. I should know because I have been to New York. But there's a disco ball, a little dollar sign and necklace on there. So yeah, it's just very glamour, that kind of vibe. And this is what the colour story looks like. And of course, this colour story caught my eye. And the reason why it did is because it is very similar to a palette that a lot of us know and love. And that is BT Bay's Book of Magic palette, which was released last year. This one was released, I think, as part of a Halloween launch, though. So the fact that the colours are very similar and one is marketed as a Christmas collection and the other was sort of marketed as a Halloween collection. I don't know. I think it was marketed as a Halloween collection. My memory doesn't serve me well, but I think the whole magic and mystery, that kind of thing, I think that was the angle here. Age of Opulence is the Book of Magic just darker. Does anyone else see that? If you rearrange the pans in here, I'm pretty sure you'd get very, very similar looking palettes, which I'm not complaining about because these shades aren't the exact same shades in here. In fact, I don't think there are any replica shades in here apart from maybe black. Everything else seems to have a different undertone. So you could comfortably have both of these palettes and still have a variety of shades. But that's, you know, there's a lot of talking. There's a lot of talking without showing you guys swatches. So I'm going to swatch this entire palette for you guys. And we're going to see what the shades look like. So here are the swatches. And I feel like they look absolutely incredible on camera. So just imagine what I'm seeing in real life in my room as we speak. I am so, so, so impressed by these colours. And if you have the Book of Magic palettes, you'll see the clear differences in here. So I would comfortably recommend getting both if you wanted to. But if you did miss out on the Book of Magic, this is also an amazing, amazing alternative. Oh, you guys, I'm so impressed by these shades. This is absolutely beautiful. Those shimmers, though. So you see that purple and then we've got the blues and the golds. I'm very excited to have a play with these shades. I did recently do a purple and blue look, which I think would have been my go-to here because of the shimmers that we've got in here. They're absolutely stunning. But I am going to switch it up and do, I think a turquoise look is what I'm going to go for. And we'll just see what happens. The thing I love about the Beauty Bay palettes is that they really, really deliver on formula. These are some of the creamiest, buttery shades that I think a lot of us will feel. And I just love the consistency with these palettes. Like, there are certain brands out there that just don't deliver on that consistency. And this is a £15 palette, you guys. £15. Okay. 
time but let me not fully recommend until i've actually done a look and had a play with the shadows in real time so let's go ahead and do a little look since it is a beauty bay palette review i am going to go ahead and use my beauty bay eye base in the shade number one as my primer today so i'm just going to apply this on the lid so i have decided to sort of stick to the turquoise theme so the first shade i'm going to dip into is this shade right here called rich and i've just got it on this super compact brush just to control where the color goes that much more because i do want a specific shape so i'm gonna kind of draw a semicircle but because of how my lid creases i am gonna take it just over where all the lines are because the shade will get lost in my crease so i'm just gonna pat this on Following the shape of my eye first. So this is a very, very rich pigmented shade. And as you guys can see, I'm literally just gently tapping on this shade and the colour payoff. Is amazing and with that same brush I'm just gonna go to the edges of that shape and just gently buff them out like this just so that they can blend better into that next shade and now I'm taking this shade right here hope which is almost a perfect match to my shirt I love match you know guys when things match, the aesthetic is just for me, you know, I just love it. So I'm taking that on a fluffy brush. This is the brush I've chosen. I really wish I had a smaller brush, but, you know, I don't clean my brushes, so problem. <laughs> so I'm taking this shade, and this is the shade that I'm going to carry upwards, you see. And I'm just going to blend this in to our first shade. The mistake that I made was not taking that primer higher. As you guys can see, without the primer, it's a very, very sheer type of shade. And it is looking that way. Because here where I had the primer, the pigment is pigmenting a lot. I have half the mind to start over. But I think... I think I'm gonna keep going just if you decide for whatever reason to replicate a look like this definitely prime all the way up because it will make the difference because the gradient now just looks slightly off you know so I think there are a good amount of deep shades in here to deepen up this look a little bit but I think I want to go with the blue and this shade is called curfew I could have gone in with the black, but I've done that before. And I think blue would look quite nice. Yeah, I do really like how that blue is looking. So I'm going to blend this in right here. This is pretty much directly where my lid crease is. I'm going to get a Q-tip and just clean this area up a little bit more, cut my crease, and then I'll be right back. I decided to cut the crease a slightly different shape today to see what would happen but since I'm going to go in with a gold I think I'm going to lay down this RSVP shade onto the area that I've just put all of that primer and I'm just using this as sort of a foundation just to see what would happen. So that's how it's looking right now and before I go ahead and add my shimmer I'm just going to blend some colours right here into the edge so that it's not so in your face and I'm gonna start with the very first shade I used which was rich and I'm just gonna pat this on right here at the end and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same brush and go into the turquoise shade hope and just blend this one in towards the first shade and I do want our shimmer shade 
to blend into these ones so now I'm considering going in with a shimmer ever so slightly I think I'll do it okay I'm gonna go in with this shade right here revival same brush again and I'm taking the smallest amount because I don't want this to overpower the look and I'm blending this into this shade right here so I'm putting the smallest, smallest amount of this shade. So it's a slight shimmer, but it's not the main shimmer, which I'm about to put on. But I'm going to go ahead and put on a glitter glue adhesive first. And I'm just using the ABH one. And the shade I want to use is this shade right here. And it's called Gold Digger. When I swatched the shades, I just knew I had to use this one because it's so, so pretty. And it's a little different to the golds that I usually use. So with this, I'm just going to tap it right on top. I'm not going to lie, I'm not really feeling the look right now. But we're already in and I'm just going to have to just keep going because there's really not much else I can do. I don't really like this cut crease shape. I think I prefer my usual shape to the shape that I've done today. This time I'm not too convinced that lashes is going to make a huge difference. But we're going to have to persevere. So if I can find the brush that I'm looking for. I'm gonna just move on to the lower lash line now and I think I'm gonna take it deep and go in with the navy shade curfew. And honestly, it's just a matter of hoping for the best right now because <laughs> it is what it is. What's done is definitely done. And we can only move forward from here. I feel like this look is giving Cleopatra. Which, you know, I might be able to work with it in the end. But right now, it's just not my kind of vibe. But I think I'm going to take a little bit of Hope as well. Which was our turquoise shade. And just blend that into that shade as well. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's just giving me Egypt Cleopatra. I'm going to go ahead and try and work my magic liner, lashes, do the other eye, everything. And come back on camera once this look has been completed. And I'll let you guys know what I think of the palette. And you can see how this turns out. Because I don't know if it looks promising right now. I don't know. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so... This is the finished look and now that everything's sort of done, I don't know, like I didn't like it at first, but now I think, I think it's really, really pretty. I actually really like the look. Am I allowed to say that? Like, am I allowed to really like my, you know what? I, It's this shirt and the eyes for me, like... The one beef I have with this look is that it just doesn't photograph well. I don't know what it is, but it just doesn't look amazing in pictures. So, like... If you've gotten this far, then I mean you click the thumbnail, but the thumbnail's not going to be great because this look just doesn't photograph well. But as a look in general, I think think I pulled it off I think I obviously went against like my general impulses to do looks that I've done on this channel before you know like a purple blue cut crease or anything like that but yeah I just went with something a little different today I'm not sure how many different shades I used I'm gonna go ahead and count so we used rich hope curfew rsvp revival oh and I did go in with champagne in the inner corner 
so that's six i think and then gold digger we used on the entire lid so it's about seven shades that i use from this palette i don't know what it is but the beauty bay palettes i can generally use quite a lot of shadows for one look and it just does what it's supposed to do i am obsessed with this palette i think this one is my new favorite just because of the depth of the colors and just how complimentary i find them for me like listen my general rule of thumb is that you can't really go wrong with one of beauty day's 15 pound palettes just because the formula is absolutely to die for and the color stories while i do have some queries about some of them like the wilderness palette i did have a couple of question mark moments with the color story at the end of the day the palette delivers and i just I think I'll always continue to support the £15 palettes because they're my favourite. They are releasing a new collab palette with Jade from Little Mix, which I do think is going to be a larger pan palette, like one of the bigger ones. So, yeah, I'm not sure. If you guys want to see that video, then make sure you are subscribed to my channel and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the chaos that unraveled to create this look are you gonna get this palette do you already have the book of magic so you don't need this palette like what are we thinking what's the vibe but yeah make sure you drop a comment in the comment section down below thank you so much for tuning into my channel and i will of course see you in my next one